that probably rained so much it, it washed the pollen off. Tom Weekly off, has man. been selling pumpkins so, for uh, years, but just take... like many other pumpkin farmers across Ohio, this season has been a rough one. We planted those dates this year. Uh, then we set in with three weeks of solid rain, and we had a kind of a had one field that was pretty much a failure in some types. We got very poor pollination. And Weekly is not alone. He says a fellow pumpkin farmer in Washington County only had a 5% return on his 15-acre farm. It's all due to what pumpkin farmers call rain-induced pumpkin diseases, like powdery mildew and downy mildew, which kill the plants. Kevin Lewis of Libby's Pumpkin Patch says he struggled with the weather, but his one-acre patch just had good timing. I think for us, when those came through, pumpkins that since they ripened a little bit earlier this year, they were at, at a large enough size to be able to withstand the, the mildews. The shortage has bumped up wholesale pumpkin prices from 15 cents per pound to 30 cents per pound. But local farmers say they don't plan to dramatically raise prices or have a smaller supply. When you trade or you buy some just to keep your customers happy, uh, you don't make any money doing that, but that's the idea. You know, we've been doing this since 1983, and we have repeat people that come, uh, and I'm going to have something for them. Reporting for WOUB News, I'm Krista Lamadola. This is all this extra. I always get.